Folks, this is project two of our assignment for week number five of our Photoshop 2 course. I wanted to open it by telling you a story, and I'm going to have to make it brief so I can keep within my time limit. I had a classmate who was from a family of photographers. A buddy of his stole a negative from the family album of a young lady who was very attractive and and very redheaded. She was in this little bikini that her father would never let her wear in public. Well, my buddy saw it and didn't know it was taken without permission, and he made 75 copies of it and passed it out, selling it, selling it to all his buddies at school. Well, her father found out about it. He came down to the principal's office, raising holy terror. You know, they got called to the principal's office and were instructed to recover those pictures and return them to her father. He couldn't quite get all of them, so he had to make a few more so we could give him 75 so he'd think he got them all back. And, uh, well, that's just a quick reminder of what kind of trouble you can get into copying and possibly enhancing people's pictures. Okay, I'm probably going to post these questions as an add-on to my video, so you can feel free to read my written comments. If you were allowed to meet with the owner of the image, what questions would you ask? Well, I would want to know what their intent was. The answer could give you some spe special insights as to what they want done. Next, if there are any concerns about how the alterations to the subject could be made. For example, if there is a mole on the cheek of your customer, you might or might not want it removed. And that was also the suggestion of my, of my buddy. Do they just want to restore it to its original condition or do they want more than that? What special concerns do they have? Are they all right with removing objects unrelated to the subject of the photo? For example, ped pedestrians walking by birds in the background, or any debris that might have been placed on the ground. These can get you a good starting point. Okay, the next question is, how do you navigate the responsibility of preserving and enhancing memories for individuals or families through your work in Photoshop? A photo should never be altered in any way that would be distasteful to the owner. That was another suggestion from my buddy. Uh, are there any details that should be restored? Alterations that create a bit of humor can be all right at times, but sometimes it might be offend or introduce embarrassment. Keep a leash on your sense of humor if humor is desired. Converting an old photo to a digital format is an excellent way to preserve memories. Scanning it, enhancing it, and saving it is an excellent way of preserving it. Okay, how much alteration is too much and how do you approach decisions about modifying historical images while respecting their authenticity? Well, sadly, there's no one-size-fits-all answer to this question. An image of a house of worship probably has a vastly different set of implied rules than a family photograph. The former should require less alteration than the latter. Different photographs require different approaches. Removing historical objects from the background in a photograph of a building of significance, uh, the monuments around the South Carolina State Capitol, for example, should be off limits. And I use that as an example because my family's from South Carolina and I have photographed the South Carolina State Capitol and a number of the monuments around it. So if the alterations in the image can be easily spotted or if the image is beginning to look cluttered or sloppy, it's definitely too much alteration. What else do you need to consider? Well, the context of the photo is always a consideration. At one place of my employment, someone took the supervisor's recent wedding photo and made him look like he was with an exotic dancer. Not funny at all. Imagine if his new spouse saw it and believed that it was real. Taking pictures in public can also have contextual implications. While it is legal to photograph anything that is clearly visible in a public place, it is not always advisable. Pictures taken of children in public could bring repercussions from their parents or guardians. How and where you present these photos could bring legal consequences if posted on a less than reputable website. Altering them well, may compound the issue. Always consider the intent of the alterations. If your customer's intent is to blackmail, extort, or cause humiliation, 
you should politely and emphatically decline. It is important to remember that they may not be telling the truth. Well, that about covers it. would like to tell you about a television show I saw some years ago. Uh, it was a TV series called Picket Fences. And in this one episode, the, the couple that were the main characters in the story had a son who had received a picture of their very attractive teacher from a classmate. He took that image and, and digitized it into an image of her head on a, um, well, let's say less than clothed body. And after showing it to some of his classmates, he decided to upload it to the internet. Well, the trash hit the fan, of course. And um, a teacher ended up suing and you know, demanding money so she could relocate to a new town because her reputation had been pretty much singed. So, very good example. At any rate, everybody have a good one. And uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the course.